How you doing? I'm so far. I'm so glad you guys are all here. All right, our next guest is best known for his Emmy Award winning role as Karen Walker's pretentious arch enemy, Beverly Leslie, on the hit comedy show, Will and Grace. And now he's starring in his own off-Broadway show called My Trip Down the Red Carpet. Please welcome the fabulous and talented Leslie Jordan. <laughs> No idea. What is this? Four feet eleven. Four feet eleven. Uh huh. Because you know how if I. If I had that rack, I would rule the world. It's, I would be the ruler of the good, world. It's good, right? It's good. Oh my word. Thank you. I am woman. Hear me roll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, you know your role on Will and Grace. That whole sitcom. I just and it still does repeats, and I'm always watching. I am just such a fan of your work. Thank you. Is it true, though, you guys, I heard, is it true that Joan Collins was origi originally supposed to play your character, Bess Beverly Leslie? They had written this episode where Joan Collins' character was going to steal Rosario the Maid away from Megan Mullally's character. Okay. And then they were going to confront each other over a billiard table in oh. Karen Walker's mansion, and they were going to have a dynasty cat fight and pull each other's wigs uh -huh. off. Uh-huh. Well, they did the first day of rehearsal, and everything was going along all nice-like, okay. and Miss Collins and her entourage left. Well, her producer came back and said, you know, you're not really expecting to pull Miss Collins' wig off, oh, are you? Oh, I think she's a wiggy, like I'm a wiggy. Maybe. We, we take our wigs really seriously. Maybe. Oh. Because I'd also seen, you know, she was on a movie called These Old Broads. Uh -huh. I don't know if you remember this. Elizabeth Taylor got her wig pulled off. Um, Charlotte McClain got her wig pulled off. Uh-huh. Um, who else? Everybody got their wig pulled off except for Miss Collins. Yes. So I guess she thought, I ain't getting my wig pulled off. Anyway, uh -huh. they fired her. before we even got a chance to see it on TV. So they needed somebody to play the nemesis of Karen Walker. They did not know me. Uh-huh. Uh, people think it was written for me. Beverly Leslie, Leslie Jordan. It was a tiny southern man in a white suit who chatters like castanets. Bingo. Uh-huh. And that's how I got the part. Shout out to everybody in Tennessee. This is you. This, this is, is one it. of you. And listen, one episode only. And then they called and they said, oh, well, he was so funny. We've uh -huh. got an episode where Ellen DeGeneres plays a nun and Good. blah, blah, blah. And then it just turned into this. And I won the Emmy. Yes. I won an Emmy. Congratulations for that. So now, um, do, we, do I just assume that you're out of the closet? No, I'm married with five children. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I fell out of the womb and landed in my mama's high heels. You know, I, I've and, been on the prance ever since. And so you're in your mid fifties. Uh huh. Um, how was it in in Tennessee uh, when you were young? Well, you know, I came up in the fifties and the sixties, and my dad was a career army man. Oh. And my sweet mama uh -huh. and my sweet grandmother created a little secret garden, you know, where it was, I think they took one look at little Leslie and they thought, oh. How you doing? He's gonna need some help. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so they created this little secret garden where I could play with dolls and I could sew doll clothes. I could do whatever I wanted, but. Don't tell your father. Don't tell daddy. Oh. But I would be out in the front yard twirling a baton. I, my mother was a real good baton twirler and I was really good. I could throw it under my legs. I could stand. <laughs> And I had this real high squeaky voice, and my poor daddy would come home with all of his army buddies. Oh, and I would sweet. say, "Daddy, watch me twirl!" And <laughs> <laughs> my poor daddy, my daddy would say to me, he'd say, "Son," he used to call me "son" like he was in deep pain, you uh -huh. know, just son. Uh -huh. <laughs> He'd say, son, why don't you twirl in the house? And I'd say, well, because mama's scared I'll break something. 
But the thing <laughs> is, that, you, I'll pay for whatever you bring. Because your father was accepting. Yeah. And and so, well, then you know, good for you and good for. And let me tell you the best little story. This is real quick. My mother on my 53rd birthday, you know, we carry baggage from when we're kids uh -huh. and all this and I was this and I was this. And, you know, you just allow it. On my 53rd birthday, my mama told me this story. And she said, when I was three years old, they wanted to take me to a wedding. My uh -huh. daddy was, uh, his army buddy was getting married. My mama said, well, Alan, he won't he won't sit still because uh -huh. I was what was known as an excitable boy. Yeah, you, you, know? you haven't stopped moving your legs since you've been here. I'm observing you, Leslie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So you went so to the anyway, wedding. I go to the wedding and Mama said I was all over that pew until the bride swept down the aisle. And what did you do? She said I froze like a pointer dog. Oh. At that bride. And when we got home, she heard us in the next room with my little cousin Karen. We were playing bright and goon. Uh huh. And I was the bride. Uh -huh. I had an angel food cake pan on my head. Uh huh. I can't. And I had put my mother's bathrobe on backwards. Oh. And uh, it was uh, uh, off the shoulder, uh -huh. empire waist, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh -huh. Anyway, I wanted a bride doll that Christmas. Uh -huh. And my, my daddy, my lieutenant colonel of a daddy, uh -huh. went out, 1958, and found his three year old son, the most beautiful bride doll. And mama said, when I saw it under the tree, I squatted in the floor and peed. Uh -huh. with Leslie after the break. Leslie Jordan is still here, and we're talking about all kinds of things. So I understand that you shared a jail cell with Robert Downey Jr. Oh, my unfortunate incarceration. <laughs> we won't go into the particulars, oh. but yes, I did. I was arrested for several indiscretions I'd really rather not discuss right now. I'm sober 13 years. Let's just put oh. it that way. Oh, okay. But anyway, Congratulations. I was sentenced at one time to uh, 120 days in, in the pokey. And anyway, well, that's so, nice. so way of they came it. up after 11 days. I prayed for the first time since I was a kid. I was raised in the Baptist church, baptized 14 times. They could not wash me clean. They dunked me, dunked me. We don't sprinkle, we dunk. Uh -huh. But anyway, so I prayed. I said, look, you got to get me out of this jail cell. And bam, they knocked on the door and they said, we got good news, got bad news. Okay. Good news is you're out. Bad news is we can't let you out till the bars close because of your past. Yeah. Uh -huh. So anyway, they said, well, we got Robert Downey Jr. downstairs. And so, bless his heart, this was December 11th, 1997. And I don't know, he was just so sick and, oh, I guess on drugs. I don't know. But here we shared this jail cell, and I'm just chattering away, you know, just uh -huh. he's so sick. Yeah, and, and then years later, I got out because of him. Years later, I got on the Allie McBeal show, and I called my mother because I don't watch a lot of television except the Wendy Williams show. Uh -huh. But anyway, <laughs> but my mama said, I said, Mama, who plays Larry Drake on that show? She said, Robert Downey Jr. I said, oh, my Lord, I was in jail with him. My sweet Southern mother, she said, I don't believe I'd tell anybody. And Your I mother's said, like my mother, exactly, too I much. said, well, I'm not going to announce it to the cast. But when I met him, he walked up, and the first thing, here was Callista, Flockhart and all these big stars, uh -huh. Jane Krakowski. He said, do I know you? Oh. And I said, zip it. <laughs> zip it. Zip it, zip it. Fine. Funny. <laughs> he said... He said to me, he came up to me later on, he goes, where do I know you from? And I whispered, I said, 152, pod A, cell 13. <laughs> and the rest is history. So, so, it was so nice to meet you. Thank we have you. talked over our time and over uh, our time. But I will tell everybody, the main reason Leslie is here, other than to socialize, is because he's got a one-man show. It's called My Trip Down the Red Carpet. Pink. At the pink. <laughs> My Trip Down the Pink Carpet. Carpet. How could you miss that? I know. <laughs> Look, it's at the Midtown Theater right here in New York. You are lovely, and we'll be right back. Thank y'all so much. You are wonderful. Lily Tomlin and Jane Wagner present Emmy Award winner Leslie Jordan in My Trip Down the Pink Carpet at New York City's Midtown Theater on West 46th Street, playing April 14th through July 3rd. For tickets and more information, please call 212-352-3101 or simply visit mytripdownthepinkcarpet.com.